was good y'all riley beats here and today today we're gonna do another uh beat fix video uh, i got some submissions uh first submission here is from the uh, homie dj fats it's pretty much what dj fats says they get lost when making beats so i haven't heard what this sounds like yet so let's just give it a quick listen Yeah, I think we've given that a fair listen. It's it's pretty clean. Uh, there's a few things I'd like to change, mainly with the mixing, because I feel like the mix is off. And I kind of understand where you're coming from when you say you get a little confused or lost with making the beat, because it seems like your your arrangement is, is mainly where you're getting lost. Because pretty much what your arrangement is looking like here is it's just kind of the same thing over and over again. So first things first, I'm going to address the mixing. So on the master, you got Maximus. I'm not too sure why. It's not the end of the world. I'm just going to throw my own personal master preset on here just because I prefer it. Oh wow, you mixed everything quiet. Let's go through everything individually. So I'm assuming you just left a lot of headroom, which is fine. You know what? We'll just undo everything. That's fine. We'll leave your master as is. Just personally, I like to mix loud as opposed to um, just turning everything up in here. It's just, it feels like what you're doing here is over mixing from a standpoint of you're pumping everything into a bus, um, but almost like with no purpose. Like your bus is empty. You just turned everything way down. You know, you, you didn't have to put that into a bus to do that. Now I'm a little confused because your, your 808's your going to the same bus as your melody. So I'm starting to get lost in here. Your kick kind of sounds dookie, I'm not gonna lie. And you're putting soft clipper on everything for, for some strange reason. So you don't need to put your kick in mono and we're gonna remove the soft clip. There, it sounds a lot less uh, like dog walk. Same thing applies to your, your 808, you don't need to do that. And we don't need to do that either. Never mind, your 808, you used a garbage 808 sample, it sounds like. I don't like your 808 sample. I'm gonna change that. Feels nice and dark. I'm gonna change your kick sample. Um, maybe you put it on. Yeah, you put it on a really high note. That's why it sounds like that. I'm gonna bring that down. And so I'm just gonna EQ slot those together. You you don't want to soft clip on your 808 or your kick. At the end of the day, that's just not something you want to do. It feels like you're doing too much, and that might be why you're getting a bit lost. Again, I'm really not sure why you routed this. Like I'm not. I'm really confused on why you routed the kick and 808 to one bus together. But track six is empty. Seven, eight, nine, and ten are all empty. Uh, so you go into eleven. What do you have in eleven? You have everything in. I think I see the issue. So we're just gonna unroute everything to track five. We don't need to route to track five because all you're doing in track five is you're turning everything down and it's kind of just unnecessary. Again, I'm gonna replace the master. It's taking me a little bit to figure this out, what's going on. Now you have your 808 turned up here, but you don't need to turn it up there. Cause you have it turned all the way down here. Did you do the same with your kick? Yeah. And then you turned your kick all the way down. You don't really need to do too much of an EQ on your hi-hats. I'm gonna throw on phaser. Again, this is just a personal thing. I think it would sound cool. I'm gonna bring down the mix knob on it a lot. I'm gonna bring up the volume of your hi-hats a tiny bit as well. And what do we have in track 14? Okay, you have an open hat. Weird open hat. Again, we don't need to do this. What you're doing when you do this is like, look at the sound. You're not really cutting anything out. Okay, you have a cool perk here. Yeah, I see why you EQ'd that. Um, me personally, I would just cut it like this. Wow, that's harder already, geez. We'll get into arrangement here. Um, so I think with your loop, the arrangement's okay. Uh, it doesn't get too spicy or anything. 
um, but we want to focus a bit more on your drum arrangement. This is just a personal pet peeve. I see a lot of Instagram posts being like, oh, your melody needs to be panned this way, your hi-hat needs to be panned this way, your snare needs to be panned this way. Don't. Stop it. It's BS. It's not true. You don't have to do that. But I think one thing you could do here that'd be kind of cool uh, is only have one of the perk loops. I like this first one. It sounds a bit more like a build-up. I think your 808 could play with octaves a bit nicely. I'm just going to bring this up. I think you could have a really nice fade out, nothing too crazy there. save that and we'll move on to the next one to be very honest with you i don't think we have any um like a question from this next one it was pretty much just sent to me Woo. you'll represent deku i need to catch up on my hero academia uh you didn't give me too much to work with i just have a bunch of stuff let's let's hear this ah yo this is the one from beat review this is gorgeous perfect What happened? You had like this crazy guitar melody in there at some point. Oh, that was probably from Vital. Honestly, I'm gonna re reset everything you've done here because there's nothing but reverb on something. So let's go to the piano. Um, first things first, we're gonna change the piano sound and we're gonna change this for a pad because you have this like hard, sharp, not really dry, but semi dry kind of pluck sound going on, which sounds great. But the piano doesn't really fit in because the piano is a percussion instrument. Let's go to Roy Major. I like Roy Major banks. People always ask me what banks in Electra X I like to use. Roy Major has never let me down. Ooh, I'm going to layer this again. So I like this pad. You have everything pretty low, but it should be fine. I'll just EQ some stuff out. I'm just going to cut out a lot of the low. But there's room for the 808. Now I'm going to cut out some of the low in here too. I'm going to turn the pad down. It's a bit loud. I'm going to throw everything into a melody bus just because I want to turn it down together. Because it's a bit loud altogether. And then I'll copy this over. So the 808, what's going on with the 808? Nothing. It's just kind of a weird 808 sound. And I think this would fit a lot better. You're using a spins 808. I think um, we should just throw in a different spins, to be honest with you. Yeah, that sounds a lot more smooth already. On the melody bus, I'm just going to cut out some of the lows. Uh, just to make sure it's all cut out below 110. So on the 808, we're going to boost some of the low mids. Okay, we're going to remove free balance and I'm just going to throw in my own master preset because that just makes my life a little easier. I'm not crazy about this 808 pattern you have here. I just don't like the 808 hitting here. So I think instead you'd want to do this and then we'll bring that up an octave. What do we have here? It's uh, definitely workable. Just gonna turn this down. So your your rolls here, I'm gonna turn those down as well because they're a bit loud. I think you could have something cool with like um yeah, I'm gonna change up this 808 pattern here again too. I think it's fine hitting there, but I don't like it this. Flap sounds a little quiet, so I'm just going to boost a little bit here, just because I want a bit more of the sharpness to come out. And I'm going to turn up the volume a tiny, tiny bit on there. Your open hat is ridiculously quiet. Just seems to be the sample. Weird. Ooh, your accent snare is way too loud. I want that to be a bit a bit lower. It's more of like a perk than uh, an actual snare. So let's just do some basic arrangement. So I'm going to cut out all of this. I think this sounds cool. Bring this back over. We'll cut out everything here. Let's use this as like a little hook section. I think it would be cool if we did like a cut right there.
And I'm getting a little bridge section here and then it can go back into the hook. Uh, just a few small changes that I made there. Um, I'll make sure to send all of these back by the way. And if you do want to send in a submission, you can send it into Discord, you can send it to my email. Please ask a question, please send it as a zipped loop package. Uh, render out all of your melodies for me. Um, and leave the MIDI in too so I can mess around with stuff. 